in the future, uh, and of course none of us knows what that's going to be, what kind of leadership is going to be demanded that perhaps we don't have now? Mm -hmm. Are there going to be new demands on leadership figures? And, and in leadership figures, you're talking about an enormous mm -hmm. range of people. Mm -hmm. what, what, what are the new demands going to be? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can't ignore the fact that uh, one-third, roughly one-third, according to researchers at Howard University, of the African-American community continues to live uh, in this sort of sinking, multi-generational poverty, uh, poorly educated, um, just significant uh, personal crisis, uh, substance uh, addictions, and on and on, the kind of violence in neighborhoods. Somehow, you know, before we can really celebrate, you know, African Americans sort of joining the American dream, mm -hmm. we still got to reckon with that uh, challenge to us because they're our family, uh, they're our village, and I think you know, Dr. West is is keenly sensitive to those two thirds of African Americans who are doing well, who are making it, and who forget about the one third. But most leaders haven't forgotten. Most of us are connected in, in various ways. Uh, most of us are serving on a day-by-day, week-by-week uh, fashion to somehow create opportunities for uh, less advantaged uh, uh, citizens. And so I think the new leadership perhaps is going to have to be even more visible in, in, uh, in modeling the, the sense of connectedness uh, to the have-nots, uh, to d demonstrable programs that enable people to move from dependence, from welfare, substance addictions, etc., from dependence to self-sufficiency. And uh, leadership that is wise about that process, about the, 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 the transitioning from uh, dependence to self-sufficiency. Uh, is going to be important. So it's not just leaders who sketch the big vision, mm -hmm. which we've had a lot of, or leaders who just serve p particular constituencies, um, but, uh, but leaders who are somehow helping to kind of really transform existence for a large number of people who, who are just desperately looking for hope. What can we do to make sure we have all kinds of leaders, the big picture people, the mm. specific constituency people, the people with a vision for moving from dependence. How can we guarantee, mm. if we can, that we have a ready supply of efficient, hardworking, um, dependable leadership figures mm. emerging in our community? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, there's certainly a role for educational institutions mm. to play in trying to encourage uh, students to claim their uh, leadership, claim their uh, mission in life in terms of uh, providing direction and inspiration and hope and practical examples for uh, self-actualizing uh, their lives. And so I think we need more people to um, understand that as they do so, they are that's a form of leadership. Um, not all leaders are the, uh, the big picture behind the microphone and in the public eye, uh, but there are grassroots uh, leaders. There are bureaucratic uh, leaders who work in organizations to provide guidance and direction, who speak truth to power, who reinterpret the mission of the corporation or the company uh, to ensure that it's serving the common good. I think that's the kind of leadership I hope we will nurture in a variety of ways, in the arts, in journalism, in business, in medicine, and in the sciences, and certainly in, in politics and religion. Uh, people who understand the dynamics of the human spirit and its quest for meaning and purpose, mm -hmm. and um, people who understand the fragility of community and how we need to knit and work on community building. So it's wisdom about the, the, the human soul and about human community building and then the larger agenda of crossing boundaries mm -hmm. and negotiating uh, difference and otherness. And I think if we have leaders that have wisdom about those three agendas, the soul, the community, and difference, uh, you know, we, we, we're going to uh, uh, 
uh, be well served. Well, on that note, thank you, Dr. Franklin, for being with us. Thanks this has been much. great. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you.